Hello! Welcome to K-Sports, your TV station for all things sports in Kentucky. But this year we're going to be going with a specific college as every station has done so. We had the chance to pick Louisville, Kentucky, or many others. We decided to pick West Kentucky University, the Hilltoppers. And we are about to get to the first game. And we will be back after the coin talk. Welcome back. And here is kickoff as Kentucky won the toss and elected to kick the ball off. So the Hilltoppers get it. Ooh, nice return to the about the 26 yard line. 27. It's the first play of the season for the Hilltoppers. And shotgun, and it's a receiver. Mo uh, reverse doesn't really get much it's second and ten now. This Hilltop quarterback has been known to throw throw away games in the pass passing game and just not being efficient. But he doesn't show it there. As it is a about twenty four yard connection. I'm not sure. We haven't gotten our update yet. But great reception to the Wildcat 47. It's a handoff to the star running back, Greer, who doesn't get much or anything at all, actually. And it's second and ten. Second and ten, and they're coming out, looking like it's going to be a run. And it is, it's a handoff. Beautiful run. Well, three yards, I guess that's good. But Greer takes a shot here. He's okay, though. Third and seven at the Kentucky 43. And shotgun formation. Plenty of time in the pocket. Find someone, and he does! He has been set to throw away games, but number nine has not let him down with that pass. Oh, and we got a little bit of anger between receiver and cornerback. Words exchanged, no penalties given. It's a beautiful connection. Number nine for the Hilltoppers gets rocked. Oh, and, well, that one wasn't the quarterback's fault. He just didn't hold on to the ball. Surpr I'm surprised our last receiver didn't lose the ball. He got hit even worse. It's second and ten. This is a manageable size as, uh, yeah... Yeah, they lose a yard. I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind not getting a first down, as you can kick a field goal. But I'm not sure a kicker can handle this. Oh, and it's—he's hit on the throw. He throws it deep, but it's overthrown into the end zone, and it's fourth and eleven, and they're gonna punt. Beautiful drive gone to waste. And it's punted out of the end zone almost, but it bounces out of the way. So, well, the Wildcats will take over at their own 20. First and 10. Abrams and Burley. Players to watch. The quarterback and running back. And it's a reverse. They ran what, could, what the Hilltoppers ran on their first series. And they, unlike the Hilltoppers, they gained two yards. Burley is not an easy running back to take down. He's known to fight for yards. And he runs for six right there. It's his third and two. Abrams is known to scramble if he gets the opportunity. But let's see if he does that in this game. Looks like it's going to be a handoff. Four-man row. No, it's a play action. And it's darted into the secondary uh, for a first down. First and ten on their own 36. Snap jumped. It's a play action. No pressure whatsoever, and it's thrown out of bounds. Don't know who Abrams is throwing to right there exactly. Now, if this game is going to trouble us, then I'm going to hate. And I mean, oh, and the quarterback second, he fumbles. Beautiful blitz. Number 15 for the Hilltoppers fumbles. Or strips the strips Abrams and it's recovered by the Hilltoppers. 
this game has just been refreshed. But like I was saying, if this game troubles us, then I'm scared, and I mean scared, to commentate the game that the Hilltoppers have later in the season against number four ranked LSU. Not sure if they're going to be ranked four then, but who cares? They're beast team. It's a handoff up the middle, and Greer hurdles over a fallen man, and it's third and... Six after a four yard gain. I would just run it and see if I can get closer and they know it's a play action and he, he scrambles, fights, tries to fight for extra yards and he gets to about the Oh, oh they're gonna go for it. They're gonna go for it. Offensive coordinator said we can get it and Greer gets it and more! He got a block and Greer scores! The star player for the Hilltoppers gets a couple good blocks and takes that into the end zone off a of fourth and two risky play. And he makes it seven. Oh, takes it back for six. Beautiful. And the lineup for the extra point. The Hilltoppers might just pull off this upset against their rivals, the Wildcats. They don't look so hungry and vicious for a win right now. A strip turns into six on the other end. And it's a seven nothing game. Beautiful return to about the 32-33 yard line. <clears throat> Shotgun formation. Hand it off to the running back. It's a draw. And he's tackled, but not after getting f only after getting five yards. Burley showing that he can run the ball too, just as well, if not better than Greer. But Greer disagrees with that. It's another handoff for one yard this time, though. And it's a third and four. A stop here. Coming I mean, big things for the Hilltoppers as it's three, two, one. They get the playoff. Oh, he. It was a fake! It was an option play, and he got the first down. Abrams does not miss the chance to scramble. And that's the end of the first quarter. 7 nothing lead for the Hilltoppers. We'll be back when the second quarter starts. Welcome back to the second quarter with the Hilltoppers leading. 7 nothing. And off that handoff, Burley breaks a tackle after Abrams gets the first down off of an option, and it's a five-yard gain. No coach can be mad at a running back who's getting five yards. But he didn't get it every play. He gets two or three this time. It's a third and three on the Hilltopper 47, 48. About. And he runs up the middle, up right up that gun, until tackled by two Hilltoppers in the secondary. And it's first and ten on the Hilltopper. 36. Play action. Abrams, looks like he went past the line, but he said he didn't. It's a beautiful cross veil pass. Defensive coordinator says that he looked like he was past the line of scrimmage, which would be an illegal forward pass. But it's a he just had to come in. And just as you hear that, it, the door is open back up. And it's a 7-7 seven, seven game as Kentucky, with the beautiful pass to the end zone, makes it a 7-7 seven, seven game. With 3.49 left in the second quarter, plenty of time for the Hilltoppers to come back. Kickoff, and it's booted to the... They can get past the 5. For a good return, pass to 20, and he gets hit. 
at about the 27, 27 yard line. Yes, they're coming out with a shotgun. Is it a is it a draw? Yes, it is, and no one blocks on the left side, and it's a one yard loss for Greer. He wants to prove that he's the better running back of the two, and one of the best in Kentucky. It looks like an audible, motioning the tight end, and it's another handoff. Greer, with about four yards, and it's third and seven. You gotta pass unless you want to surprise them, which is possible. A draw might just get these seven yards. Tight end motioned. He gonna, he's gonna scramble. He, he gets the first down. Fights for more. And the Hilltoppers quarterback scrambles for the first down and more. They said he throws games away for the Hilltoppers. But in this game, he's showing that he is the one for this team. He can carry them to a bowl game. It's a seven step drop back. He slips. He, he's going to scramble. Run into his own center and gets about three yards. After a seven step drop back, he slips. Runs into his own lineman, but still gets about three yards, which I guess is cool in the eyes of the coach. And offensive coordinator. Hey, four three yard plays, and that's a first down. They've gone for it before, got a touchdown off of it. Motion in the tight end. And a step drop back. He's going to scramble again to the 50, and he fights for more. Down to the Wildcat 47. And it's a hand off the green. No, it's a play action. He throws it, it's a dart. A dot, no! Ball knocked out of the hands of the receiver. A beautiful drive once again gone to waste. But hey, I said this last time, and they got a strip, and it turned into seven points. And it's, no, it, it's rolled into the end zone. With a minute 49 left, Wildcats take over at their own 20, hoping to make something out of this. No toppers hoping to stop them and maybe get another chance to score. And Burley fights for nine yards. It's a second and one. Clock is stopped at 145 with a timeout. And a deep ball. Throw deep and he's wide open. No one to stop him. And my, oh my. The, what were the Hilltopper secondary doing there? They just watched the ball, or no, they didn't watch him. They just got completely burned. And in less than about 15 seconds, it's a 14-7 game. And I just want to let all you viewers know, to you view the... Uh, Berlin's um, sister station of us at K Sports. We'll have uh, we're having the station at Berlin host uh, games of the Berlin Ballers, the new expansion team for the NBA. Yes, it's the National Basketball Association, but hey, they they added in Canadian teams and they say, hey, let's go even further. The deep ball, oh, it's overthrown. He had his man beat. If it was just more accurate, oh, it could have been something. It could have been deep, deep ball for deep ball. But no, it's second and ten. It's another seven step drop back. He has time in the pocket. He throws a wobbler. Another dart thrown. An 82 with a double cutting route. Wide open. It's overthrown. Maybe even a little wide. And it's third and ten. Kentucky gets this back. If they don't get a first down, they have a lot of time. They might have more than a, a little bit more than a minute. And it's thrown, but he gets so fierce. He gets the first down and fights for more. And they're running a hurry-up offense right now. Uh, they have timeouts. But they decided to use one. Clock stops. Throws a dart to the... Uh, I think that's the tight end, and he fights for a first down. I believe, yes. 
And they're at the 46 now, and the clock is still running. Emotions the tight end, and it's a timeout for the Hilltoppers at exactly one minute. Are they going to run the ball with Greer here? No, it's another seven-step drop back. He, he's going to scramble. No, it's a terrible decision as he loses three yards. I know what he's trying to do. He had Rome on either the left or right, but tries to run up the middle. Oh, and this is another seven-step drop back, and he's going to scramble it. Oh, no, he, he's getting too scramble-happy. I mean, test the secondary. Try to throw deep. But, oh... Another seven step drop back in. It's a dart throw, and he's wide open. And the Hilltoppers with a beautiful dot from their quarterback. And the ball's on the two. They're running up the field. Still 36 seconds on the clock. And it's a seven step drop back, and it's quick ball. Oh my goodness. Knocked out of the. Knocked out the air by Seymour. He's holding up his fist. But some fans are saying, no, you should have caught that. It's on the two. It could have been a six. There was no one over there. And he throws another dot. It's almost picked off again by the linebacker. And now people can see why they said he throws away games sometimes. It's a handoff to Greer. Greer punches it into the end zone. And that's six. With 27 seconds left. Hilltoppers get the extra point, and it is good. And it's a 14-14 game. Looks like it's going to go like this into the half. It's kicked off to the 9. Not a very good kick. And no. Oh, good return. I don't want to... He could have stopped, but he... Oh, well, he... I think he wasted about 4 seconds. Well, not even wasted. Got the ball to the 31, 32. It's a high snap. He catches with one hand. It's lobbed up in the air. Is he going to catch this? No, it's out of bounds. Thank goodness, because once again, Hilltopper secondary is beat. This this game is not look making new coach. Look, defensive, defensive coordinator look good. Abrams gets hit. This is not making Matthews look good as far as the defensive game. I mean, hey, but you can say he is, it is looking good almost. That could have been picked off and that could have turned into something, but not much. They only have seven seconds. Seven seconds left coming out with a shotgun. They can say, hey, we were expecting to get hammered in the, oh, and it's a sack to end off the half. Coming off the edge and couldn't get the ball off. And beautiful. And that's the end of the first half. Knotted up at a 14-14. 14-14 four, game. Looking like the Hilltoppers have a chance to do something with this game. And while all the cheerleaders and mascots are doing this, we will see you back in the second half, third quarter, for the rest of this game. Oh, maybe not. They said no commercial break. So it's just directly to the kickoff. After that, it was very quick. And it's returned to about the 35. And it's a game track. That beautiful run by Greer. That dot by Abrams. Two of them. So the dot from. Oh, no, they don't show that. First and ten on the Kentucky 35. It's a shotgun formation. Looks like they oh they're running in reverse. And, and yes, that's what it is. It stopped in the backfield. Beautiful. For a two-yard loss in the second and twelve. This defense. No, I'm not gonna say anything because I jinxed it the last couple times. Uh, no pressure this time. Oh, yes, it's out of bounds and it's third and twelve. A uh, single back formation, surprisingly. And it's a dot to the second, into the secondary. Once again, 
Hilltopper defenders beat in man-to-man -man coverage. Might need to start running to zone. But heck, if, even if that was zone, they've been getting beat all game, so you don't know. And stopped. I'm not sure if that gained anything. Maybe it gained a couple inches or so. But it's a second and ten. Ended off to Burley, who doesn't do much at all. And it's third and eight. We, we might be seeing a stop here, which would be great for the Hilltoppers. And I swear, if I jinx this again, I need to just stop talking. No, and it's knocked out. Fourth and eight. And are they going to punt or are they going to take a long field goal? No, no, they're going for it. Surprisingly, seven step Brock back. And it's throw. He's short on first down. And it's Kentucky. Hilltopper. Defense stops him. But for some reason, Abrams in. Uh, I think that was Burley for some reason jumping up. And they like they got it. It's a deep ball. Deep. Oh, but he beat the Kentucky Wildcats secondary. A beautiful throw. And they're at the 31. Just like that, Hilltoppers might just take this lead. Seven step drop back. He's open. He's going to... Oh, my goodness. Here we go with the scrambling. I mean, I know there might not be anyone open, but geez, maybe run out the pocket and throw it away. Don't lose yards like this. There's going to be a handoff to Greer. Greer gets nothing, and oh, this is just terrible now. I'm guessing that Kentucky Wildcats and the Hilltoppers neither have them have faith in their kicker to kick a good 40 or 50 yard field goals. It's another deep throw, and he, he stays in! He stays in! Beautiful throw to Michael Carrington, who has two receptions for 71 yards. And it, the ball's on the three. Move forward. I think that's on the two now. It's a handoff to the fullback. And he does not get anything at all. I think he actually loses a bit. Oh, uh, no. I think he might have gotten an inch or two. And it's another handoff to the fullback this time. And he gets a little bit further. Third and goal will be a shame at score touchdown here. I would just say go for it. And I think it... It's moved forward a couple inches more now. Another hand out to the fullback, and he punches it in this time on third and goal. And the Hilltoppers have the lead. Will they pull off this upset against their Kentucky Wildcat rivals? And the field, the extra point is up, and it's good. Just like that. Seven plays, 71 yards, punched in by Burnett. And it's a 21-14 game. With 156 left in the third. We might be seeing an upset here. But as I was saying earlier, this game just got to go so interesting. I never really went in detail to it. The Berlin Ballers have been the only expansion team outside of the U.S. and Canada. And this is very interesting because it's in Germany, unexpectedly. But I think after another, after the last season... They are being um, disbanded, and they're going to be moved into support, reportedly, Mexico, obviously the U.S. or Canada. Excuse me for these uh, pops. We're having uh, some technical difficulties, and it's a slide for third and one. Like I said, Abrams will take that opportunity to scramble. I'll be putting a lot of guys in a lot. I forget it. They're running the ball, obviously. And it is, it is. No, they couldn't stop him. It's hit by two guys in the secondary, and it's minute 23 left in the third quarter, and it's on the 47-yard line, and it's handed off. He's hit at about the 49-yard line. A shotgun, second and five. He, he's gonna. Oh, he doesn't throw. He throws it all the way out of bounds. When he, the one time he actually, you actually think he's not gonna, he is gonna scramble. He doesn't. He throws it over the his receiver's head, and it's a third and five. So it's that drop back, and another tight end open in the in routes.
I mean, the linebacker gets beat on that play, thinking he's going to go straight or cut, maybe right or comeback route. He, no, he cuts in and gets beat. Points up, drop back again. Oh, and he just has butters all over his fingers, and it's dropped. 38 seconds left in the third quarter. And it's an uh, option play. No, he takes it himself. Oh, he almost gets the ball ripped out. And it's third and ten on the Hilltopper 36. Shotgun has plenty of time in the pocket. Is he going to find someone? Yes! Gets hit as soon as he gets the ball in his hands, but it doesn't matter. Oh, and it looks like 16 is shaken up after he has been thrown to and targeted a lot this game. He's even been returning kicks, so I'm not that surprised that he is down on the field. Snap was, looks like it was jumped, and it's a short route thrown, and he gets about a yard, and that's it for the third quarter. You can hear the roar of the Hilltopper fans. It's a 24 one 14 game. And we'll see you back here in the fourth quarter. Welcome back with the last five minutes of this game. Hilltopper, uh, Kentucky has it. And, oh, Burrow, he gets the ball handed off to him in the backfield. And it's stopped for a two-yard loss. And it's third and 11. On the Hilltopper 21. Plenty of time out of pocket. I didn't really say anything that time because I don't want to jinx it and he gets smacked. But he holds on to the ball, but it's not enough. They're going to go for it anyway. Why are none of these teams taking a field goal? That's a shotgun. It's a low snap. And it's thrown into the end zone. No, he was wide open in the edge. Oh, my goodness. And plenty of time in the pocket, too. 4-10 left, and it's a 21-21 game after that extra point. 4-10 left, though. The Hilltoppers taking the lead, taking the lead, and they can take it again. Boot it down to the... Five. It's past the 20, past the 25 yard line at about the 26, 27 yard line. First and 10. Quarterback's been looking great this game. I hope I don't jinx him because then I'll just stop commentating this game. Oh, he slips. What am I doing? No. Oh, and he drops the ball. Hold oh, on to him. I know you aren't the best receivers. You don't have the best gloves. You're not really fun at the best. But come on, do it. Oh, Greer up the middle. Greer with an amazing run to the 46. He's got 57 yards, two touchdowns. Some say, how did they get Greer on an all-star running back? They say he's a, he could be a Heisman this season. And it's a it's a great option. Gets hit after a seven-yard gain. And Grady holds on to the ball. Yes, you can pump your fist at the Wildcat 48-yard line. It's the second and three. Hand it off to the fullback. I don't know why you're really holding up your fist. You didn't get much at all. Third and three. I'll be handing it off to Greer. I just hope they block. And he hands it off, and did he get it a key? Yes, he stretched it over. Barely, but they people have been saying, how did they get Greer, a running back who could easily be a Heisman, and it's a, oh my goodness, he's just, he stood straight up by the lineman, yeah, they're saying he could be a Heisman this year, how did they get him, Western Kentucky, with a lot, with a lot of effort, a lot of call time, annoying him, finally got him to come here, and he's a Heisman running back, and he's doing the best he can to get them this lead. It's 2.28 left in this game. Big 
It's a big third down, third and four. They're probably going to go for it anyway. But it would be nice to get some yards, and they're going to be handing off the Greer, aren't they? No, it's a drop. He, he scrambles and always oh, slides to avoid getting hit. Second and 11. Second and 10, 9, 8. Are they going to get to play out before the second two-minute warning? And, oh, yes, they are. The drop back is a dart, and it's caught. No, he drops it. They need hands. And it's a two-minute warning. And we will see you guys back after the end. Okay, that was probably the last pause in this game. As you can see, we do not pause for timeouts. Second and ten. He's muscling his way to at least get one yard, and he does just that. 145 left in this game. 21-21. We might be seeing overtime in Kentucky. Okay, who jumped? Was it a false start? Was it offsides? It's in the oh, It's a false start. On the Hilltoppers. And they're definitely going to be passing it. Hey, maybe this will be a perfect time for a receiver screen. Or running back screen, but there's no running back, so. Empty backfield, and he gets hit. Oh, it's a timeout, and they're going to they're gonna punt. Defense needs to hold up. James Matthews, the new coordinator, has been living for a moment like this. And it falls into the end zone. If it was just put a little bit shorter... Maybe it would have rolled short of the goal line. Minute 32 left on the 20 yard of the Wildcats. 80 yards to go for a touchdown. Or they can kick a field goal, but it doesn't look like they're going to be doing that. Oh, and Burley is just gashing this defense right now. Minute 26 left, and they're running a hurry up. Get in position, need to get in position, and they kind of do. Oh, it's a. He breaks the sack, breaks the block. Of the center, uh, he sheds the block there. I couldn't find words. Uh, they're they're in position. They're waiting for the offense now. Great, they're in position. Oh, it's a motion with the tight end. They're wasting time. It's second and sixteen on their own twenty-six, twenty-five. No, get that man. Stop him from scrambling. He gets the first down. He gets sixteen yards on the ground himself. A minute left on their forty-six. Doesn't look any, they're going to be using that field goal because that's what they need. To, they didn't score a touchdown, and Abrams gets dropped in the backfield for a loss of four. I'd be calling a timeout if I was the Hilltoppers. I would not let this game be left up to choice of overtime. I would be calling a timeout, and it's a drama. Is he in? He was in. Oh, my goodness. And, and they're going to review it. They're going to see, is was he inbounds? That's, no, he was not inbounds. Not in the slightest bit. We have the referee's call on the field. And it's overturned. And it's a third and 14. This Hilltopper offense might get a chance to put this game as a, but make a win in the, put a win in the, oh, Put a W in the win column were the words I was trying to get out. It's at the Hilltopper. No, he's offsides. No, no, don't let him catch that. Well, it's better that he didn't catch that than... Uh, it's better offsides than he catch that. I mean, 25 seconds left. And where's the ball? On the Hilltopper. 37. Are they going to kick a field goal? They got 25 seconds left. 20. No, it almost looks like. Oh my goodness, they are gashing them. Please tell me that's a holding. If not, this game might just be. Oh, and it is! Huge break for the Hilltoppers. And they're obviously going to accept that. Push them back to first and 15. Now at 11. 19 seconds, excuse me. And they have one timeout. It's at their own. It's at the Hilltopper 48. Nerve wracking moments. They need to stop this Wildcat offense. Oh, they've been having trouble this whole game. And the tackle almost jumps. And it's a handoff to Burley. Stop Burley. And they're not going to call a timeout. Burley's hurt. Burley's hurt. Or was he? He gets back up like nothing happened. 6-5. That's a timeout. 
They they shouldn't have waited. What what is the coach thinking? What is wrong with him? Five seconds left. Shotgun. Three, two, one, and he gets dropped in the backfield. And this is overtime. Rick Woodard, first linebacker with two sacks. In a game for Western Kentucky as he sets a new record and he'll be remembered forever. And it's Tails! Western Kentucky gets this ball. What are they doing? Western Kentucky elects to defend. Oh my goodness. What what is wrong with them? The Wildcats get it on their own 20. As you can tell, my voice is just gone. So sad. A pick would bring it back, a fumble, something. Oh, oh, he dropped it. Oh, my goodness. What is up with their hands? They might as well not even have them. What are they there for? Second and ten. There's going to be another handoff to Burley, and it is. He, he's dragged down. Looks like a face mask. They don't call anything. Third and six. Come on. I don't. It, it seems that they don't even want their their field goal kicker to do anything but kick extra points. No, do not let him get that for. Oh my goodness! And it's it's over. It's over. There you have it. Well, oh, it's not over. It's not over. I'm thinking of the. I'm thinking of the NFL. Where they get a chance, where they score, it's over. Which is actually now and not a rule. Oh, it's, a it's a running back to me. I called this earlier. It gets eight yards, uh, two yards, excuse me. Okay. Come on, Hilltoppers. You can do this. Beat these Wildcats. They're not hungry for this win. Greer gets the first down and more. Greer with 74 yards this game. Two touchdowns and an average of about five per carry. Excuse me, another hand off the Greer. Hey, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. It's been bent, but it hasn't been broke. Oh, he slips. Get rid of that ball. He's open. Hey, is it in? It's a touchdown. And it's equalized. You better make this. If you don't make it, you will always be the GOAT of this game. And obviously, he puts that one through the uprights. Come on, Hilltoppers. Stop this team. Hilltoppers get another chance. At the 25. It's a shotgun. Low snap. Good blocking. No, plenty of time. And it's still. He drops it again. Like I said, what are their hands there for? They don't use them right. The quarterback might as well be the only one with them. Play action. It's oh, it's almost picked off. He almost threw the game away, literally. They need to get a first down here, and it's it's a deep throw, and he hit. It's off his helmet. It's off his helmet. Just kick the field goal and take what you can get. First field goal of the game. Can he? It, it doesn't have the boot. Does it have the boot? It's just through those uprights. Look like it didn't have the leg for a while, but it, it's through. And now Kentucky gets it. Touchdown, and they win the game. Field goal, it keeps going. A stop for the Hilltoppers, and they win this game and can put a W in that win title. No, no. Oh, it's overthrown. Second and ten. Come on, Hilltoppers. You can do this. If I jinx them, I might as well just stop commentating. It's another. No, it's not a reverse. Get him. Get this man. No. Oh, oh my goodness. It's over. The Hilltoppers put up a valiant fight, you must admit. But in the end, it was not enough, as you can see, the Wildcats celebrating. And that's the end of the game. Hilltoppers put up a valiant fight, but it's, it wasn't enough as they lose the game. 31-34. to 34.
four, and right there you can see the play of the game. <sighs> well, that's all we have to for today at K Sports. Be sure to tune in to the uh, our sister station up in Ottawa for well, we don't know where the basketball team is going to be now. We're not sure where it's going to be, but tune in for our sister station as they will be hosting the new expansionist expansion basketball team. Don't know what their name's going to be. Don't know anything. Barely know their owner, but tune in for that. But see you guys next time for next week's game. And that's that's it. Thanks from all the ca all the people at K Sports. See you all next time.